How's it going everyone? Turtle here and today we're going to be doing a deck profile for the deck that I've been running in the new with in standard for the with the new sword and shield sets. Uh, if you attended any of our Twitch streams you're probably all familiar with this. It is the cats deck. It revolves around Meowth V and of course Meowth V Max. Uh, definitely not a top tier deck. It is kind of a rogue deck but it is a ton of fun to play. I highly recommend you try it out. Uh, Let's get right into the deck profile. So we're going to start with three Meowth Vs. Uh, definitely your turn one or your starting Pokemon is ideally Meowth and you can start getting some energy onto that. So we have three copies of you. Put you up here. And then we have two of the V Max. I considered adding three, but that just feels a little heavy. But this is the obviously our main Pokemon that we want to do a lot of damage with. 300 HP. Not many things can one shot it. Obviously, you still have to worry about Mewtwo. We do have like a big charm to try to work around that. But your goal is to, if you go first, basically the first turn that you can, or your second turn, you want to be using G Max Gold Rush for 200, draw three cards, keep, and then this deck will just snowball. You'll have so many cards in your hand and a very high HP Pokemon. All right, how are we going to get that on our second turn? The answer is, of course, Welder. We want to welder every single turn every turn you don't welder <laughs> like let's say right off the bat uh if everything goes right you have a pretty good win percentage every single turn you miss a welder your percentage goes down a good five to ten points so four welders and again the goal is to use this card every single turn so we're going to need to be able to find it pretty reliably we have or Poke Gear 3.0s in order to enable that Welder engine. Welder, I think it's one of the most ridiculous cards in Standard right now. I guess most of you are familiar, but attach two fire energy. If you attach any fire energy, draw three cards. Let's compare it to like BD, which just got released, which is I think accelerate one energy and that's it. This is accelerate two and you draw three cards. Totally busted. Uh, so. The whole point of this is to continue to welder to refill your hand and get as many energy on the board as you can. So we have 17 fire energy as far as our energy package. And okay, what else we got? Four quick ball. I think this is my favorite card in the new set. I feel like it can go in any deck. So powerful. Obviously you can get the Meowth. The only thing you can't search for is obviously the Meowth V Max. Okay, but what it can search for are these Dedenes. We have three Dedenes. This is definitely the the only thing that makes this deck a little hard to obtain. But, you know, if you're playing casually, just go with proxies or something. But three Dedenes, you can create a quick ball just to establish this engine. And then we have our Stadium package. Pretty straightforward. Three Hearths. Uh, you're going to need to get the energy from your hand to use Welder. So we have three Hearths to make, help that. And then a Heat Factory, which is our Prism Star or Prism Star Stadium to additionally add some card draw. Uh, it is kind of tricky though. Sometimes Hearth is actually better than Heat Factory even though we only have a one of Heart Factory. Uh, just because we factory away one energy and hoping to draw two is actually, I find that it happens, we often miss. Like we have one welder, one energy, so we Heat Factory and then we have zero energy in hand. All right, what else we got? So with this, the general idea is to get me out involved to VMAX and attack for 200 keep fulfilling your hand get as many energies I, like even if you're already attacking for 200 i still want to welder every single turn the reason why is this thing almost always will be able to at least take two hits like even against adp zacian uh Zacian can only do 260 so this should be able to survive most attacks obviously mewtwo is uh is can hit that 300 damage uh but the idea is once we have a lot of energy on the board we're going to play heatran and go for a knockout with its both its ability and GX attack burning road when you put it in the active from your bench move any fire energy from this poke from your Pokemon onto it move all the energy from your big meows your big cats onto this guy and then hot road hot burn GX for knockouts it's very similarly we have a one of Blacephalon uh, serves two purposes mind blown basically the same idea only you do need to if you going to like suddenly attack with this you do need to welder to it to get that two energy on and then you could just discard all the energy from your meow so the idea is look this thing already took a hit 
Uh, we obviously don't want to give away three prizes, so move it to the bench and use one of these guys to leverage those energy, whether you're sending it to the Lost Zone or you're moving it all to Heat Trainer for the knockout. Uh, the downside is that you hopefully you put your opponent in a tough position because the return knockout will either the energy will already be gone or all the energy is on Heatran. So it, you you know the crackback could be pretty brutal. One thing about Mind Blown is it does put it in the lost zone, meaning we do have a one of Victini, uh, but which we'll get to. But this does not exactly synergize with them. So then we have the rest of our tech cards. One of Pokemon Catcher. Right now I've only managed to fit in one of these. But obviously it just helps you get the right knockouts that you're looking for. Ordinary Rod. I, I like this card. Um, with this and with all these welders, ideally you're drawing a lot of cards. Actually decking out is a, a potential problem. This can offset that. And in the event that you know you have no choice but to Dedene away your one of these important Pokemon, this can allow you to get it back. One of Pokemon Communication, we already have the Quick Balls for general tutoring up. This is just another one to enable that. It can pick either cat or any Pokemon essentially. And it does have the nice benefit. If you're about to Dedene, you can, and you have like an extra Quick Ball or something, actually just Quick Ball something, calm, or calm the card that you don't want to discard away, and then, uh, then Dedene. Fiery Flint, this is just a one of. Sometimes you, you, know, you just need more energy in your hand. Big Charm, we hit this earlier. It is for the big cats. Uh, it's like 100% necessary against Mewtwo to avoid that one shot. And there are times when it helps with even the Dene um, to avoid one shotting from like ADP and stuff like that. So you kind of just have to do the math based on your matchup and figure out where it will prevent a one shot from happening. We have three switches, always useful, uh, especially for Heatran, or actually anytime, just so you don't have to lose energy. Again, you want all the energy on the board to enable these guys to get easy knockouts on any of your opponent's Pokemon. We have two Super Scoop Up. Super Scoop Up, a um, couple obvious targets is Dedene, so you can reuse its ability next turn or that turn if it's already on the bench. And it's kind of nice for ideally. Uh, so let's say you send this to the bench because it's got some damage counters on it. Obviously, it still could be a liability with Pokemon catchers. You don't have to worry about great catchers, which is nice, but custom catchers and Pokemon catchers can target it. Uh, so the, probably the, the sweetest move is you move all the energy to Heatran from Meowth V Max because he has damage on it, and then you super scoop up it back. And worst case is like, you also have a Meowth on the bench and then you just evolve that. It's basically just like straight up, obviously just it acts like a heal in that regard. If you have a charm on there, you actually get the charm back as well. We have two pal pads. Again, welder every turn. We need to, four of them might not be enough. Pal pad, put them back in there. Evolutionary incense, like quick ball, cannot target the VMAX, but this guy, these two cards can. I would say this is probably one area that we, that some tweaking is still possible. The number of VMAX and evolutionary incense, still trying to work out those numbers, but this, right now this is just an additional way we can look for that. Victini, we covered before, uh, synergizes well with getting out all the energy and then eventually you'll suffer some own knockouts and Infinity can get pretty strong. It does not synergize with Blacephalon. Actually, I did consider trying to get two Heatran, uh, but it does work out that this is not a GX attack. So Blacephalon still has a pretty good place. And Victini, another important thing is even if it doesn't take a knockout, deck decking yourself is very possible. So this can help prevent that. Absol. Just a really annoying card. If you if you never faced an Absol, <laughs> uh, it's so annoying when you your normal your normal play your normal routine to get your switches out or to do your retreats and then you can only do a lot. I feel like Jirachi is a perfect example. All right, and then the last card that we have is kind of like a comeback. Uh, not going to be very reliable. You don't use it too often, but the important thing is, or the thing to consider is. A lot of things can go wrong with this deck. You know, it's by no means perfect. Every single turn you don't welder, your chances of victory go down significantly. Uh, if your opponent uses the hammer uh, and discards the energy in the first couple of turns, that will offset. You can't, you know, you can't use this on your first attack if you get hammered because, like, you need to get the welders out, especially if you go, or rather, if you go first. Uh, so there's a lot of things that can go wrong. I find that Marnie just destroys this deck. Uh, bring us it early on Marnie when we're already, uh, when we need to find those Welder every time with the two energies. 
and Marty just brings it down to four. It's really tough, and let's just assume we're behind, and this is going to be a potential way we can catch up. Yes, a lot of things have to go right, but LT Surge, uh, depending... You know, depending on the situation, you can up to <laughs> Welder twice, draw six cards, hopefully get a handful of energy out, whether it's for the Gold Rush or Hot Burn or Mind Blown. It's just kind of an X Factor card that is, yes, more often than not, it'll probably be a dead card in your hand, but I think there will be times where this is just the, the card that, you know, flips the table on the match and can get you sneak victories. Originally I was running, running one Caitlyn and Cynthia just as another way to bring back welders, uh, but I actually I felt that this package actually was doing a pretty good job of getting me welders every turn that I almost never used Caitlyn Cynthia. I think I used it once so far in all the online matches that I played. Anyway, so guys, that's the deck list. Uh, it's definitely not tier one you know but uh, it's a ton of fun to play and i highly recommend you try it beyond the dedenes i think all the cards are relatively low priced um and yeah if you don't have the dedenes just go proxies because you know try this out casually it's a lot of fun i recommend you try it out anyway guys that's it for me today as always guys let me know what your thoughts are um yeah i don't i'm not going to argue that this is better than like adp zacian or anything like that uh but i do recommend it's something that you try so Thanks for watching guys, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.